this documentary, it means a lot, you know, because just yeah, being a voice and be heard, you know, from so many people to be able to understand where we come from in the culture and how it really got started. This is a groundbreaking piece because of the reality of it. Uh, not just getting the musical side, but you being brought, you know, the real so forefathers they, and the up, real bro? soldiers and the real bloodline and the heartbeat of Compton. It's the big homie King Baba Louie, you know, starting lineup right here. You want to know what it is? This is what it is right here. You got to understand it takes politics and respect to be able to bring certain people out. Baba Louie was, he one of the forefathers of this Paru thing. a and &E probably one of the first cameras to really do an interview oh, yeah. with, oh, with yeah. King yeah. Baba Louie. From that point on, the whole neighborhood just united with us. To even take it to where we pulling up in other crib hoods in Compton and, you know, not just feel like we're the enemy. See, that's big. You know, we did it how it was supposed to be. You wanted the city, we gave you the city. We gave you something that nobody else has given you. You know, I mean, we pulled it off without any incidents. And I think we showed that Compton can unite. We in Compton with Wacko at his annual block party. And um, yeah, we're just gonna ask him a couple of questions about um, what he got going on here and, uh, you know, in his neighborhood and in general about his project. So uh, how come this, how this come about right here? Uh, this is family around here, you know. Uh, even though, you know, this is considered West Side Paru, and uh, we all family oriented around here. So it's like we get together with the block, with everybody on the blocks, different families, and uh, we bring it to life, you know. Um, we got the mechanical bull over here. We got different artists from diff our neighborhood rapping and doing things. Everybody came together, you know what I'm saying, and collectively brought food to the table. And, uh, you know, we live in it, you know what I'm saying? This is Compton on a whole nother level, man. Cool, man. I appreciate you, know you doing that, man. That's great. So we're gonna go around and check it out a little bit, uh, a little bit later on. But um, in general, man, I, I had so many questions about um, uh, about your music biz, you know, because yeah. um, that's how we got in touch, you know, with, with some of your groups. I know you manage a lot of talent. But yeah. uh, in general, so yeah, everybody coming through the whole neighborhood, man. It's, yeah, it's, it's a all beautiful family, thing right? to see, what's man. What's up, brother? That's what's up. How y'all doing? Um, in general, I'm trying to find out about um, about the movie though that the, the just now will release a TV show. Yeah. yeah. Um, how how did that come about, man? I mean, the documentary Streets of Compton is, you know, A and E got with with the game. You know, game is a young homie from Cedar Block Power. Don't get this motherfucker roped up. Don't get this motherfucker roped up. Compton Boulevard, Wilmington. You know, once they got with with him. You know, they also wanted to know more about Compton and more about Pyro. Right. So my man Wack, it's my bro. Red dot. You know, they asked him a few questions, and you know, him not being selfish, he got at him and told him like straight up, I gotta take you to Wacko. Right, right, right. You feel me? And yeah. from that, you know, I, I I just couldn't tell my side of the story. Right. You know what I'm saying? It, it's bigger than me. So I brought him to the hood, introduced him to Baba Louie, my relative Snoop, and different others and everything, and. Uh, you know, we made it a, good, a bigger situation beyond just myself and Pyro. We in, incorporated some crib dudes as well and yeah. just wanted to shine on Compton as a whole. Man. Okay, cool. You know of course, I've seen it and, uh, man, that's some beautiful work y'all did, but just, you know, give Compton more exposure. Obviously, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of shine on Compton uh, after the movie. Yeah, 25 years after the movie, straight out of Compton, oh, yeah. you know, and uh, now it's, it's, it's it's been on the map, map uh, since since hip hop, gangster rap. Yes. But now even more yes. with that being such a big movie, um, it's just obvious that uh, Compton ain't gonna stop. Right. Period. Right. Right. It, Compton, ain't, we ain't going nowhere. We gonna keep rising to the top. Uh, the old mayor Omar Bradley said it best. You know, you know what I'm saying? Pressure creates diamonds. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I heard that in the movie. exactly. So through everything that we've been going through out here, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of diamonds. You know. We got Kendrick Lamar, we got J3 Problem, myself, you know, I don't care, Suge Knight, DJ Quick, Second and None, MC8, the list goes on, you know what I'm saying, of, on what we have coming from Compton, and it just don't stop. We got a lot of upcoming rappers that's just about to kill the game, bro. Right, right. You know, so, I mean, my thing is trying to put everybody under one umbrella. Anything that we do under Compton, we trying to mess with each other. We trying to make sure that we as a whole understand like we got each other's back. 
West Coast got to have each other's back before we can step out and try and get anybody else to have our back. You feel me? We need to control home first. Yeah. And that's my main goal, man. You know, saying, you know one nation under it. That's, that's what's up. Yeah, you kind of already answered my next question. I'm trying to find out how is there so much good talent comes out of Compton? You already kind of answered this. It, it was uh, a lot of pressure. Is that maybe the, the light situation that, that the young kids are into and they got to try harder to come out of the, yeah. the hood? Or? I mean, you know, whether you a good kid in Compton, we show on both sides. I'm going to just keep it 100, bro. Right. Good kid, good kid, Mad City. Kendrick Lamar said it best. He grew up right around this corner, but yet he didn't game bang. Right. But then you got the other ones that come from this and they game bang. Right. And one way or another, no matter what, we still find our way, you know what I'm saying, to, to find our way through the dark clouds and shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. We looking for the sun, bro, and you know, I'm one of the ones that's gonna help get them to the sun. Right, right, You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like you did, for instance, with uh, Cali Swag, that's, uh, that's how we met. And um, I have one question about, um, I got this new program called the, the Worldwide Buzz. Uh, it's helping new talent to um, expose their talent overseas. How, how important do you think it is um, to make an impression or build a following overseas? I mean, you know, you got a big market in the States, but uh, yeah. your, your experience um, with Cali Swag Points, they already had a big hit, but yeah. me traveling with them overseas, did, did you feel the impact of when it came back? Yeah, definitely. We, um, we as artists, upcoming artists, we need more than just our inner circle, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's one thing to conquer your own city, your own state, but it's the bigger thing to move on and get that love in other places, in other countries. So it plays a big role, bro, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you already know with what they uh, handicapped us with, with 365s and different things, 365s and different things where, you know, we tied in and can't make the money that we used to, illegal downloading and all of this. It handicaps us as as potential, you know, uh, multi-millionaires and billionaires that we could have had if we didn't have illegal downloading, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, my goal is to really open the eyes of so many that are in this industry and that are buying the music and understand that it's going to take us to get back to recycling the dollar. In order for us to create new artists and new companies and things, that means the recycle of the dollar, not just black dollar, but the dollar period has to come back. You feel me? So when you illegally download, you're hurting our people now and our future generations. And that's something that I feel that we got to continue to keep putting back in their heads because I really feel that the people above everyone else had an agenda. An agenda was to tear down our music. You feel me? And how do you tear down our music? You give it for, away for free. You create it to where it has no more value. You feel me? Now, once it has no more value, now our own people in music and everything is scram scram scrambling around trying to figure out how they gonna make money in music. You feel me? So. I just feel like we have to go ahead and continue to put it in everybody's heads that, look, we need everybody to go ahead and go back to buying music again. We're not asking one person to give us $1,000 or $10,000. We're asking one individual to spend $10, maybe $20, you feel me? So that's the biggest thing, you know, when it comes to us and music and understanding where is it going and, you know, for me, I feel like when they put it out there, oh, streamlining, streamlining is the best thing. Streamlining is going to take over the music industry. Streamlining is some bullshit, okay? Streamlining, you're, you're allowed to pay eight bucks a month to streamline anybody's music, right? Everything that they're creating is, is strictly for the, um, the consumer. Illegal downloading and streamlining is not for the, the artist. So if you kill the artist, you kill the future of hip hop, you kill the future of R&B and everything else. You feel me? Because they're worried about the consumer. The consumer gonna get everything for free, but the artist is gonna get pennies. The artist still stays a slave. That way the slave does never have to grow up to become nothing bigger. Right, right. So, right. Well, there you heard it. There's a lot of knowledge here from the perspective of a manager, a music manager, and, and he deals with the numbers and sees the numbers coming in and changing from you know, like the royalties and stuff like that that, he, uh, that Wacko just mentioned. And um, in, in general, man, it's just interesting to see how you guys 
uh, 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 discover the talent here, yeah. uh, you know, the talent, and then bring him, like like you said, Ken Rigger, all the way to the top, where they all yeah. of a sudden know him worldwide. And uh, it's, it's a beautiful yeah. thing, man. But, um, yeah, man, in the documentary, we, we've seen how um, even talent, like, you know, athletes, uh, 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 Venus and Serena Williams, yeah. they stayed here in the hood, and, and yeah. the father said it in shaped the, the environment. Yeah. Yeah. Shape them to be that great, and um, you know that's a beautiful thing you yeah. know, keep seeing from you guys. So is, is there somebody else that you think is gonna come out of, out of Compton uh, anytime soon? Um, um, like maybe follow the footsteps or, or Kendrick, or we have know. we have we have a lot of different talent coming out of uh, Compton, man. It's like it's just crazy how so many are coming from these cracks. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. There's so many rising like those those weeds that come in those cracks. We got a lot of them. And, you know, again, as we see them rising, we're going to go ahead and water them. You know what I'm saying? We're going to bring them to life. We're going to help them. And that's just what it's about, bro. I've been around here. I've been banging since I was 11. I'm 42. That's 31 years of banging West Side Pro, Roof, Front Line. And, um, you know, for me, it's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been here. I've done that. You know what I'm saying? And... I'm on something different, you know? I want to be able to show these people around us and everything that, nah, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's not a, just about game banging and blood, cut, and all this old madness, you know? Um, it don't matter if they grew up on the other side of the street, canal, or whatever, and they crips or whatever. We all signed up for the wrong stuff, to be real. You know what I'm saying? Right. But that's what we signed up for. So as we grow and we become adults and you have the understanding of what you signed up for, it's like, how can you continue to keep doing the same thing? Yeah. Another question um, uh, regarding the movie. Um, like I said, uh, after Straight Outta Compton and now uh, the TV uh, series, uh, The Streets of Compton, uh, can you expect some, some more um, TV or uh, uh, movie work coming from you guys? I mean, it seems so obvious that after Straight Outta Compton, it was, it was right there. I don't oh, know yeah. why nobody did it before. Now we got the, the um, uh, Tupac movie coming yeah. up. but. Uh, it, it seems obvious that something else is going to come up, another story, yeah. so I'm just asking you man, beforehand now. It's definitely a lot about to come out of Compton, man. I mean, you know, all I can say is stay tuned, you know what I mean? If, you, if, you, if you're into the streets and you love what we bring to this camera, just stay tuned, because Compton is definitely, you know, we're on the rise. This is just a stepping stone to everything else, you know I mean? This is... Yeah, yeah. I'm getting yeah. calls left and right, bro. Right, right, right. I mean, no, seeing, you know... <laughs> everybody sees, yeah. uh, you know, wacko. Uh, out of count, one of the bosses. Respect, you want to uh, tell us something about uh, your yeah. t-shirt line, man? I keep seeing a lot of people around yeah. here in Compton with that on. Well, check this out, man. Respect is everything. You know, we all come from Pyro. If you're a Pyro, then you need respect. Respect is principles, morals, loyalty, and respect. Respect for where you come from. Respect for, you know, those that you believe in. Respect for those that help you, teach you, and guide you in this life. You feel me? It goes beyond just gang banging. This is, this is, this is what I'm trying to do as far as for Pyru. I'm trying to make Pyru become our fraternity and not just our gang. So the old acronym for Pyru was powerful, indestructible, revengeful unity. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to different heads and letting them know that I'm introducing a new way of doing this and it's called Pyru's. Powerful individuals reunited society. And under powerful individuals reunited society, you're gonna show respect. And again, if you ain't built with principles, morals, loyalty, and respect, get the fuck away from it. That's just what it is. You heard it from the man himself, man. Man, I appreciate you taking time for us um, at your uh, annual uh, block party, man. We, we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, check some of the stuff out and see, you know, what, no what kind of beautiful things, um, you know, the man doing here in, for his neighborhood, well, man. We let's appreciate go ahead and take man. a walk and don't mind me because I, I need a drink now. <laughs> Tell them niggas I bang it, bang it, eight cuz I bang it, bang it, eight blood I bang it. Give it up, give it up, slide like this. I do mines like this. I said slide like this. Throw your hood up, I throw mines like this. Let's keep it all the way G like. Use a mark, use a bitch, use a ye like. Nigga, and you ain't really from that gang that you claiming. Nigga, you ain't crippin', you ain't flaming, you ain't banging on nothing. I know. Thank you, Wally.
went on a block party. Had fun. Wacko shirts. I know I came crazy going back and forth to your shop. But you are awesome. Thank you for all. Put me on the hall about a whole lot of stuff. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Michael, thank you so much. I this nigga right here. I've been cooking since Sunday. <laughs> I'm glad everybody like it. I'm glad everybody like it. And next year, I know you're going to take care of us again. Back thank again. You. And Michael, I just want you to know you appreciate it. You always do something good for the hood. And we love you for it. Thank you.